I'm going to show how to use the recap in an estimate now. From the home page, I click on List Estimates, and it goes to the list of estimates, goes to all of our estimates. I'm going to click on Commercial Estimate. And use that for an example. Now I want to make an observation. There's only one section set up in this estimate. The name of it is Electrical Section. In, when you're estimating projects, you might have multiple sections in here. And I didn't go over that yet. If you ever have questions, just keep, keep in mind that you can always use the Help button, okay? Just click on Help if you need help with anything. But I'm going to click on Recap at the top here. And it'll open up the recap for this estimate that I've already done work on. We'll come back to it later on the header here. I'm going to show a quick overview. But the header, we'll go back in here and edit this later. But moving, moving forward with the explanation, you'll see the column here, or the header, it says Description and then total, and then electrical. We have one section in here called electrical. We input materials, and the program input labor and materials here. And it shows a total material amount. See the material cost over here? The total amount is $14,183. Now, just scroll down this on the right-hand side here slowly. We'll notice that the program displays how many hours are in the project, crew labor hours here. It shows that there's 377.58 hours. Okay. Now scrolling down a little further, it converts the program converts your labor hours to dollars or cost of labor. And what it does is it takes the crew composite number up here. This is currently set at 35. It multiplies that times the number of hours to come up with your labor budget or your cost of labor in this estimate. Now scrolling down a little bit further you'll notice that the program displays prime cost. This is your cost of the job. Now, we're going to input some other items in here that, where this is going to change, but I'm just showing you that this recap, it's important to understand what the cost of your job or estimate is. Okay? Then the program takes your markup, or say, let me say it this way, the program marks up your prime cost to come up with a, your total markup here, which is your total overhead and profit. It shows at 7552 now quickly, again, this estimate is set up to be marked up 15 and 10. Again, you'll change these numbers in a couple minutes. But we scroll down here, see the program took the prime cost times 15 times 10 to come up with, it, it displays what your what's in it for you, if you will, 7,552 is your markup. Then it shows the subtotal and the total. total. The total being the total sell price is currently at 36,049. Now that's just a quick overview. Next we're going to get into editing the header, header. Now again, keep in mind again, I'll say it one more time, but it's important. If you need help, just click the help button. So in order to edit the header here, we'll just click on edit header button. It'll open up and let you change it. Let's say that you want to change your markup to 10, or rather I should say 12% overhead and 8% profit. Now these numbers are used for explanation only. Your numbers will vary greatly. So you set up your tax percent at what you pay at sales tax in your area. I'm going to set it up at 9.87. Okay. And you set your crew composite rate up at what the average cost per man per hour is. Once again, if you need help with this, click the help button at the top and it explains your crew composite rate. I'm going to set mine at $42 an hour. I'm going to say that's my average cost per man per hour. Now I'm going to show one more thing in the header here. I should say two more things, but with regard to general foreman. If you want to add labor for general foreman, then, then you can input your general foreman rate here. Say that you have a person that works in the field or a person that roves from job to job that you want to cover some of the expense. So I'm going to put it, uh, the general foreman rate in at $5 an hour more than the crew composite rate. So I'm going to say it cost me $5 an hour more than just my average person in the field. So I'm going to set it up at 47 And then over here where it says general foreman percent, you put in the percent of hours you want to add for the general foreman. I'll show you what this means in a minute, but I'm going to set it up for 8%. Now, again, these numbers are for example only. And I'm going to pretend that I have to pay bond or bid bond for this project. And so I'm going to pretend that my bid bond cost me 2.5%. So I'll put in a 2.5 or 2.5 in the bond. And I'll save the header. Okay. When I save the header, it recalculates the estimate. Now I'm going to scroll down here just to quickly show. 
um, what, what, results, what the results are. Notice that now the program is set up for my labor cost it shows crew composite rate here at 42 just like it was set up here $42 an hour this program uses that as the basis of my average cost per man per hour it'll take that times the 377 plus hours to come up with the labor dollars or the cost of my labor which is $15,858 okay now I input I input the general foreman rate and general foreman percent at 8% we'll look down here Notice that the, the program added general foreman labor hours. Again, the intent of this, or the purpose I use it for, is to add for supervision. The program threw in 30.21 general foreman hours, again, at the rate that I set up here at $47 an hour. Now I'll scroll back down to the bottom. I wanted to explain where the, the program inputs your bond percent. See, we added 2.5%. We pretended we had a bid bond on this estimate. So I scroll down to the bottom and see where the program added $994 to the bond. Okay, so it included that. And now it comes up with your total, if you will, sell price is currently at $40,763. That's where it's at right now.